Is there any place on the planet where humans are not in pursuit of innovation? Even in the face of all our current challenges, don't we still look up and imagine possibilities greater than before? The expansion of cloud technology has ushered in a new world of choice and potential, but it can come with extra complexity and cost. It doesn't have to be that way. The right foundation can give us amazing powers. We can now say, yes, please, to the things that used to be either ors. We can increase innovation and reduce risk meet the needs of the business and the aspirations of developers. Be generous with access and ruthless against threats. That is the power of AND. It helps us reduce trade-offs and avoid lock-ins, and it lights up a world of possibilities we are just beginning to explore. Please welcome VMware CEO, Raghu Raghura. Welcome to VMworld 2021. We are excited to have you join us here on the VMware campus in Palo Alto. This is always my favorite event of the year. I love this VMware community and the opportunity to come together. At the heart of this community is you, our customers. The second leg of the stool is our vibrant ecosystem of partners. And third, Team VMware. Together, we are a force to be reckoned with. On behalf of everyone at VMware, thank you for the partnership, and a special thanks to our sponsors. I spent the last 17 years working with this community. You are the operators and the app developers behind the scenes making it all work. You keep the most important businesses in the world running flawlessly 24 by seven. In fact, it's not a stretch to say that collectively you keep the global economy humming. You're also at the heart of the cloud journey we have all been on. Phase one was what I call monocloud, the move to a single cloud where we all began building cloud native applications. This was a game changer in enterprise tech, raising the bar in terms of speed and business value. Our preferred partner AWS pioneered this model just as they continue to innovate at the leading edge today. Over the last 20 months, the pandemic accelerated the move to phase two, the shift from monocloud to multi-cloud. Phase two is all about building and running a more diverse set of applications in the cloud. You can select the cloud based on the needs of the app and what your business demands. You're also transforming your data center into private clouds and running apps there. And now with the edge, they are pushing apps and services closer to where they are needed, especially in sectors like retail, manufacturing, transportation, and energy. In our view, multi-cloud now extends all the way from public clouds to private clouds to the edge. It's amazing to consider the value we're getting from multi-cloud today, whether it's shifting from traditional e-commerce to omni-channel e-commerce, or redesigning your supply chain or leveraging the power of customer analytics and insights. Above all, multi-cloud is about increasing app velocity and innovation. And more broadly, multi-cloud takes business agility and business resilience to a whole nother level. In my conversations with many of you, I consistently hear two main drivers for this move to multi-cloud. First, I hear you say, I want the freedom to innovate using the best services from different clouds. Equally important, I hear you say, I don't want to be locked into any single cloud provider. At this stage, it's clear, multi-cloud is going to be the model we're going to use for the next 20 years. Today, the typical organization is running roughly 500 apps to drive their business. Those apps are spread far and wide. Our analysis shows that three quarters of you are using two or more public clouds, and 40% of you are using three or more public clouds. It's not just the large public clouds. Many of you are embracing sovereign clouds to address the need for data sovereignty. And you're working with service providers who are delivering differentiated services as they accelerate the move to 5G. 
Clearly, multi-cloud is a vibrant and dynamic marketplace where the pace of innovation is relentless. But along with the advantages of multi-cloud come challenges. Your enterprise architecture is way more distributed. Your workloads are way more diverse. Cloud native, core enterprise, SaaS, and now apps at the edge. You're running on different clouds, but each one of them has its own silo tools and systems, which makes it even more difficult to manage, connect, and secure these applications running on them. If you're a developer, you tend to have a preferred cloud that you're most comfortable with using. But getting your code into production is painful and slow, even in one cloud, let alone in all these different clouds. Managing, connecting, and securing these applications is a challenge. Meanwhile, your customers and employees expect instant access to all of these applications at all times, and the security better not slow them down. Whether you realize it or not, you're facing the same set of operational challenges that companies like Netflix do, but with a fraction of resources. Put it all together, it is a multi-cloud environment that's more diverse than anything we have managed in the past. And it's only getting more complex all the time. The result? Today, multi-cloud forces you to make some tough choices and trade-offs. Do you optimize for developer autonomy and choice? Or do you prioritize DevSecOps who want to deploy code with consistency? If you're in IT ops, do you prioritize flexibility on running the enterprise applications in different clouds? Or do you focus on retaining full control of your environment and your spend? And then there is your workforce. Do you prioritize access to applications from anywhere? Or do you prioritize rock solid security to keep your apps and data protected. Our approach at VMware is to break through these tough choices. We believe every business should have freedom and control in their multi-cloud business. Developer autonomy and DevSecOps efficiency. Enterprise apps on any cloud and full control and cost savings. Anywhere access for employees and world-class security. This is the power of AND. We are uniquely positioned to deliver it. This is the next chapter for VMware. In chapter one, we pioneered server virtualization, laying the foundation for today's cloud. In chapter two, we went bigger and broader and virtualized the entire data center. We are now in chapter three. This is the next phase of customer-focused innovation for VMware. Going forward, Multi-cloud is at the center of gravity for everything that we do. It is in our DNA. We take constraints and we turn them into a flexible asset. Today, we are excited to unveil VMware cross-cloud services, a family of services to build, run, and secure your applications across any cloud. There are three key advantages you get with VMware cross-cloud services. First, go faster. With cross-cloud services, you can accelerate your cloud journey. Second, spend less. You get big gains in cost efficiency. And third, be free. With cross-cloud services, you get maximum flexibility and choice across any cloud. Within cross-cloud services, we are innovating in five core building blocks. A state-of-the-art platform for building and deploying cloud-native apps cloud infrastructure for operating and running your enterprise apps, cloud management for monitoring and managing the performance and cost of your apps across different clouds, security and networking that span your entire multi-cloud operation to connect and secure all of your apps, and last but not the least, a digital workspace to empower your distributed workforce along with edge solutions to deploy and manage your edge native applications. Many of you are relying on these solutions every day. We are taking the products that you know and trust and then expanding their capabilities for a multi-cloud world. Let's take a moment and spotlight what's new in each of these areas. We are very excited about Tanzu Application Platform, an integrated solution that gives developers and DevSecOps an orchestrated path to production. In cloud infrastructure, we are announcing Project Arctic, 
This is basically vSphere as a service, and it will streamline your journey to the cloud. In cloud management, we are unveiling Project Ensemble, which gives you a whole new level of control over application cost, performance, security, and automation. In security and networking, we are excited about a new version of service mesh and Kubernetes security technologies to transform your app security. In Workspace and Edge, we are announcing VMware Edge Compute Stack, purpose-built so you can deploy edge-native applications at the far edge. Each of these innovations will work across the major clouds. We could not deliver all these innovation without our cloud partners. I was delighted to sit down with several of these partners. And I invite you to check out these conversations. They are available on demand in our vision and innovation track. Each of these partners delivers unique value. Together, we are shaping the future of multi-cloud for you and your teams. Two things I want to make clear about these cross-cloud services offerings. First, this is flexible and modular, so you can pick and choose which services you want on which cloud you want, depending upon your needs. This is the opposite of a monolithic portfolio. Second, with cross-cloud services, we are delivering tremendous value to every kind of business, both enterprises modernizing their apps and younger born in the cloud businesses. A great example of this is Toast, a leading provider of SaaS solutions for restaurants. The value Toast delivers to its customers intensified over the last several months as restaurants around the world were fighting to survive. Let's watch. Anything you can think of that a restaurant needs to operate Toast has a component in its system to do that. COVID hit and all the restaurants are shutting down. And here I am working for a company that's a restaurant company. So it was a scary time. You really didn't know what was going to happen. Our teams began to say, all right, we got to pivot right now. Scaling projects can wait. Stability projects can wait. So then it became, how do we keep our restaurants in business? Toast has always been a cloud-based company. Within several weeks, we put a SWAT team together, started looking at our cloud health reports, and we ended up saving about 50K in less than a month with very little effort. And then people had ideas of what kind of features can we build out that will help our restaurants? You know, scanning QR codes at your table. They scan it with their phone. The menu pops up. After you figure out what you want to eat, you pay for it and then fire it straight to the kitchen. All contactless. Now we can support the engineers who can continue to build new features for our restaurant guests. Things have opened up again. We're back to, hey, we still got to scale. We still got to make our platform stable. VMware has been a great partner with us. And Cloud Health makes things simple. So it's now become built into our everyday process at Toast. I mean, look around. Things are great. The future is definitely bright. <laughs> I don't know what normal is, but there's so many ideas out there of things we can do to improve how restaurants work. Such a great story of persevering through difficult times. In a moment, our president, Sumit Dhawan, will go deeper into the innovations behind cross-cloud services. But first, let me leave you with this thought. What is cross-cloud all about at the end of the day? It's about giving you the power to make your own decisions and control your destiny. I call this enterprise sovereignty. What do I mean by that? Just as data sovereignty is about controlling your data, enterprise sovereignty speaks at a higher level about preserving your freedom of choice, both now and in the future. That's our commitment to you. At VMware, we give you the freedom and control you need to drive your business forward in the multi-cloud era. One of the best examples of VMware innovation in action is FedEx, the global leader in shipping and delivery services. We are partnering very closely with DXC, one of our ecosystem partners, as FedEx accelerates its digital transformation across every region in the world. Let's take a look. 
At FedEx, we stand at the nexus of the digital and the physical world. So we started this journey with a lot of focus on making our technology cloud ready, cloud native, and flexible. That's something that VMware does really well for us is help us manage across the edge, across our data centers, and into the cloud. VMware Tanzu is critical to our day-to-day, -day, especially with our testing practices. The automation that's available through Tanzu, we're able to consume through a series of APIs, as well as an infrastructure as code model through our continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines. Durable assets that were adaptable to changing world situations and that's exactly what happened to us over this last year and a half. If we had not built that technology to be flexible, we never could have adapted to the world and all the changes that the pandemic brought. The Internet of Things, technology at the very edge, is really important to us. We've got new technology called SensorWare. These sensors generate billions of transactions across our network and the technology that we have allows us to manage those transactions effectively and provide the visibility that the future is going to demand. With the COVID vaccine rollout, the SenseWare platform itself needed to scale up. So in order to do that, we were able to expand our Tanzu. We knew that if we scaled up that application that we were getting a consistent set of infrastructure. And SenseAware, because it is a, a modern architecture, a modern application, was able to very quickly take advantage of the additional resources. Our ability to distribute vaccines, our ability to keep people safe at home by delivering their e-commerce needs, really an amazing time for us. It's who we are and it's what we do. As we see next generation companies coming online, they're not encumbered by legacy technologies. The risk of standing still is something that we underestimate, and the risk of moving forward is something that we often overestimate. Recalibrate those. Believe that moving forward is what you need to do, and that it's very dangerous to stand still. One of the most important things about the future of technology is we really don't know everything that's going to happen. That truth has played out over and over again. Our future is really rich with VMware technology. We deploy containers utilizing Tanzu. We're building flexible technology, durable assets that are API enabled, that are cloud ready and cloud native, so that we can deploy them and adapt them to a changing world. Please welcome VMware president, Sumit Dewan. What an inspiring story from FedEx. Our priority is to align our innovation engine to your needs. And we are focused on three core areas as Ragu laid out. Cloud native apps platform, cloud infrastructure, and secure edge and anywhere workspace. Let's take a closer look at the first one, cloud native apps platform. Like many of you, Mercedes-Benz wanted to build modern apps at speed by leveraging services available from public cloud deploying code to production quickly. And in our conversations, you have told me clearly that you want these three key capabilities. Your developers need a consistent experience to build their apps across any cloud. Your platform ops need to build a secure digital supply chain. And you need better control and governance for resources in distributed cloud environments, including cost and security. We have designed Tanzu to meet the needs of developers and ops and cloud centers of excellence. So it's not either or. Instead, it's a solution for all three. So you can build cloud native apps with speed and control. Stay tuned to see our new offerings today, including the Tanzu application platform, a complete system for building and managing applications on Kubernetes with a multi-cloud marketplace. Project Dawn Patrol, giving you complete visibility of all your cloud assets and dependencies. And a Tanzu distribution that's available for free for developers and operators to experience VMware Tanzu quickly and easily. Let's look at our next area of focus, cloud infrastructure. Here, I think of a customer like the National Stock Exchange of India, an organization with a long track record of innovating at scale digitally. 
and many of you are thinking along the same lines. How can I modernize or extend my on-prem private cloud to expand the capacity and flexibility of my environment by leveraging the power of the public cloud for my enterprise apps? It's gratifying to see what we have been able to accomplish with strategic partners like AWS, Microsoft, Google, IBM, Oracle, and Alibaba. This deep engineering work has led to VMware Cloud, which is now available as a native service in over 100 regions worldwide across all of these public clouds. And all of your workloads on these public clouds can be managed easily and controlled by VMware Cloud Management Solutions. I'd like to address two major misperceptions about VMware Cloud service offerings on public cloud platforms. First, people think VMware Cloud is more expensive than native public clouds. And second, that they have to pay twice to us and our cloud partners. Well, both are false because our software stack runs directly on top of the bare metal provided by our cloud partners, which means you get all the efficiency and density benefits of VMware's infrastructure for your enterprise apps. And you're able to use your existing agreements with our partners to consume VMware cloud service on their platform. So, great win for our customers. Today, we're going to share details with you on a variety of cloud infrastructure innovations, including ransomware attack solutions via VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery, Dell's Apex service for building your private cloud, and VMware Edge for your Edge native apps. And this is exciting. Project Arctic, a simple pathway for you to adopt VMware Cloud. Finally, let's look at Secure Edge and Anywhere Workspace. Over the past year and a half, we learned the importance of empowering a distributed workforce, and we were happy to have played our role as digital first responders, supporting the real first responders operating on the front lines around the world. Today, we're announcing new capabilities as part of our Anywhere Workspace solution. Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, innovations that move all security to the edge and now fully integrated with Workspace ONE. So you don't need point solutions anymore. And Workspace ONE AI technologies that protect your data by identifying anomalies in user experience and security. Here's our commitment to you. We're going to continue to innovate at a furious pace, just as we have always done. And working right alongside Team VMware is the most vibrant partner ecosystem on this planet. And together, we deliver the trusted foundation to accelerate your innovation. Time to go deeper into these three key areas. To talk more about cloud native apps, here is Domain. Thanks, Sumit. You just heard about three capabilities that every digital business needs. How do developers get a consistent experience and minimize context switching and overhead? For platform teams, how do they build a secure digital supply chain? And for cloud centers of excellence, how do they control and govern Kubernetes and resources in a distributed cloud environment? And change is constant. New challenges and threats are emerging, disrupting the bleeding edge, let alone organizations that are trying to modernize existing applications. Because today's fresh code is tomorrow's tech debt. We'll talk through each of these capabilities, as well as how VMware is helping to build bridges from where you are today to where you want to be. Let's start with the developer experience. As industry analysts have noted, we're facing a developer experience crisis. Between the vast cloud native container ecosystem, an explosion of open source projects, and a sea of overlapping cloud services, there's a lot to wade through, learn, troubleshoot, and support. This complexity eventually slows teams down because the barrier to getting started gets higher and higher. But there's hope. Tanzu provides a multi-cloud developer experience. With Tanzu, developers can get started quickly with app pattern templates, a catalog of validated components, and seamless marketplace access. In the last several years, developers have gravitated towards patterns and tech stacks that support greater team autonomy and an API-first approach to integration. 
With Tanzu's developer-friendly approach to building and securing APIs, small teams move quickly and have a big impact. Take CVS Health. They digitized an entire process in seven weeks, saving time and money. To keep that experience as frictionless as possible for their developers, they use Spring Cloud Gateway as the means to securely route their APIs while hosting their application on Tanzu Application Service. And now, Tanzu's API portal allows developers to discover, test, and publish internal APIs. APIs are important, but that's only one part of the developer's experience. Kubernetes is the de facto container orchestration layer, but the developer experience is lacking. Case in point, developers would rather write 10 lines of YAML, not 500. This is where platform economics come in. When developers can offload to a platform that is app aware, rather than having to wire their apps to Kubernetes manually, you can scale your DevOps practices without incremental effort. And developers get a better experience. For example, instead of a developer manually mapping their app's health check endpoint to the Kubernetes readiness probe, an app platform does that automatically. Developers spend more time writing code and less time configuring. We're taking what we've learned from our ongoing work in the Spring and Cloud Foundry communities and bringing that to support any language and run on any Kubernetes. We recently announced the beta of Tanzu Application Platform as an integrated but modular solution to give developers curated app templates and an orchestrated path to production. Built for Kubernetes, it takes a declarative approach. And we're pleased to announce that phase two of that beta is kicking off this week. Visit the Tanzu network to learn more and try it out on AKS, EKS, or Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. For platform ops teams, Tanzu application platform is part of the secure software supply chain. It starts with an automated way to build containers and rebuild them automatically as new vulnerabilities are discovered and fixes are made available. Application configuration is similarly secured and deployable again and again without friction. Whether for features or fixes, you'll find this continuous delivery capability in the new Tanzu application platform beta. The supply chain includes a catalog of validated components available to developers. We're excited to announce new capabilities in VMware's marketplace, the industry's first multi-cloud marketplace for open source and ISV components. Now, with the new private image build service, you can customize base images. And of course, continuous image scanning is another element of the supply chain to proactively mitigate risk. Okay, we have our code. It's containerized, scanned, and ready to run somewhere. This is where control and governance come in. You want to deploy containers into well-managed Kubernetes environments on any cloud. Whether you know it or not, you likely have one-off Kubernetes clusters. Like, it's 9 p.m. Do you know what your clusters are doing? Having different flavors of Kubernetes all over the place, public cloud services, on-premises, even at the edge, it's more challenging to secure and less efficient to manage. Tanzu Mission Control is that multi-cloud Kubernetes operational plane. In the last year, customers have started to see the power of Tanzu Mission Control. In fact, analyst firm ESG found that centralizing the control of multiple Kubernetes clusters with Tanzu increased operational efficiency by 91%. Today, we're announcing a starter version of Tanzu Mission Control available at no charge. You can sign up today for an invitation when Tanzu Mission Control Starter is available early next year. What about the rest of Tanzu? If you haven't had a chance to try it, we're making it easier than ever to get started. Yesterday, we announced Tanzu Community Edition, an upstream aligned set of packages that are free to use, including all the pieces you need to run Kubernetes and more. Today, we're launching a new interactive sandbox for anyone to try out Tanzu Community Edition. Go to learn.tanzu.io and deploy a serverless function in minutes. Finally, no app is an island. It's not just about what's running in the container. Cloud native apps are distributed and complex. Governance and control of performance, security, and cost needs awareness of many layers. With our management solutions, the cost, performance, 
and security of your app is supported with deep cost analytics, full stack observability, and cloud and workload security. Let's look at an example for performance. Space Ape Games, an award-winning mobile games company that operates solely in the cloud, needed scalable performance analytics. Hear how they turned to Ton's observability to prepare for their next smash hit. What is Space Ape? Space Ape is a mobile game studio. You can download and play them on your phone, your tablet. We're quite a young company, so we were cloud native from the beginning. We're the kind of company that likes to continually reinvent the way that we do things. Wherever possible, we would like to use third-party providers, buyer versus build approach. Just recently, we've launched BeatStar, a fast, fun, music-based game that is a bit like Guitar Hero. So when we have a launch, most of the company is staring at these Tanzu observability dashboards, and we're watching the players go up, 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 up. For us to have the game break at that point is terrifying. We use Tanzu observability to give us early warning. And so when you look at these dashboards, you get a really quick, clear understanding of the health of the system. This one signifies is that 99.999% of our requests are coming back successfully. And so you can look back and you can see a week ago, a month ago, how is this system performing? Has something changed? This is a tool that you can use to tell those stories at every level. Yeah, we just want to focus on making our games. A pianist doesn't build their own piano. You are <laughs> mad if you're rolling open source software yourself when someone else will run that for you. We're able to ingest hundreds of thousands of metrics and within seconds see all of this data. The Tanzu dashboard becomes the embodiment of our systems. Next, let's look at cost management. Cloud Health customers save an average of 25% in cloud spend per month. Companies are already doing this, using it for a unified view of their multi-cloud environment, where spend is fluctuating every day. Now, when it comes to security, we know that distributed services need secure connectivity by default. I'm excited to announce that we'll be opening up a beta for Project Dawn Patrol that will give you complete visibility with a map of all your cloud assets and their dependencies. As you can see, you can develop apps on the cloud of your choice and provide a consistent developer experience with governance and control. Imagine that. You're gonna hear a lot more about what VMware is doing to enhance multi-cloud computing infrastructure for all workloads from our next speaker, my colleague, Mandy Storbakken. Thanks, Domain. You just heard how the demand for new applications accelerated the transition to multi-cloud. But it's not the only factor. I know, because before joining VMware, I was the cloud architect at organizations just like yours, facing the same challenges that you're facing today. You're juggling multiple priorities, like empowering the business to accelerate their application initiatives, offering the flexibility to run applications anywhere they're needed, and ensuring that your entire portfolio runs reliably, securely, and cost-effectively. And with different clouds offering different benefits, you're often forced to make impossible choices. We've taken a fresh approach to controlling and governing this increasingly distributed landscape, one that minimizes trade-offs, maximizes flexibility, and ensures consistent enterprise-grade protection for all your workloads. This is what VMware Cloud delivers. It's unique in combining our comprehensive infrastructure services to support both enterprise and modern apps. It's unique in delivering these services consistently across all the major public clouds, all the major data center and edge platforms, and across over 4,000 cloud provider partners globally. And it's unique in the options we provide. You can acquire VMware cloud services directly from us, or from our cloud partners, or as a self-managed VMware Cloud Foundation. But what matters most are the benefits to your business. With VMware Cloud, our customers have accelerated their application modernization and cloud migration initiatives and reduced their TCO, all while maintaining the SLAs and security posture demanded by their enterprise applications. And today, we're excited to share a new set of VMware Cloud capabilities. We're announcing the GA of Tanzu services on VMware Cloud on AWS, 
This integrated service includes the Kubernetes runtime and TMC essentials for cluster management, all at no additional charge delivered as a service. And Tanzu services for VMware Cloud on Dell EMC is expected later this year. Many of you are familiar with the groundbreaking work we've done with containers and Kubernetes on vSphere. You've told us how powerful open standards are for compatibility and portability. What if we leveraged the Kubernetes operator model for all aspects of our VMware cloud infrastructure? Today, we're pleased to announce Project Cascade as a tech preview. We've already enabled compute services with the VM operator, and we look forward to working with the Kubernetes community to expand this to all of our infrastructure services. You'll get a converged IaaS and CAS consumption surface across any cloud exposed through the Kubernetes APIs. We're excited to contribute to a world of open infrastructure with no lock-in. And we're delivering on our multi-cloud vision. We've partnered with the biggest cloud providers to offer VMware Cloud as a native service. This means you can manage, automate, and transact VMware Cloud just like any of their other services. And if you prefer to use our management capabilities, you can do that too with our vRealize cloud services. We're happy to announce our innovations for VMware Cloud on AWS, our preferred public cloud service for vSphere workloads. Today, our joint customers can consume the VMware Cloud on AWS service through the AWS commerce experience, even leveraging the enterprise discount program. And with the upcoming integrations into the AWS console, you'll get a native AWS management experience. Many of you know us best for building enterprise-grade capabilities, so we've expanded these workload protections to VMware Cloud on AWS. It's more resilient with new VMware Cloud disaster recovery capabilities that enable accelerated ransomware recovery, 30-minute RPO, and integrated data protection, so you can restore your services and data faster. It's more secure with new VMware NSX advanced security options to improve your security posture and protect workloads with distributed IDS, IPS, and advanced firewall capabilities. And we're delivering compelling new innovations across our partner-managed VMware Cloud offerings with Microsoft, Google, IBM, Oracle, and Alibaba, including new regions, certifications, native integrations, and validated support across our portfolio. And these deep partnerships enable us to offer direct backend integrations to many of their native cloud services, giving you the best of all worlds. And for the increasing number of you that require data sovereignty in compliance with local mandates, we're announcing our VMware Sovereign Cloud program, delivered with our VMware Cloud provider partners. Some of you may be surprised to learn that we can deliver all this more cost-effectively than with traditional on-prem infrastructure or native cloud instances. We've worked with thousands of you on TCO assessments. On average, we can save our VMware Cloud customers 30% versus traditional on-prem environments, along with big gains in app performance and downtime reduction. And we even provide compelling cost advantages compared to native cloud. When our customers do an apples to apples comparison, accounting for our built-in enterprise capabilities, VMware Cloud costs less than the equivalent native cloud services. And customers can achieve an even higher ROI by maximizing the utilization of their cloud resources. The same value that vSphere has delivered on-prem for years. And you eliminate the cost of retooling, replatforming, and retraining that would be required to move workloads to a non vSphere platform. Our customers love the flexibility of fully managed VMware Cloud in the public cloud, so many of you ask for similar benefits for your on prem workloads, which we're delivering through our local cloud options. You just heard Sumit mention Dell Technologies Apex Cloud Services with VMware Cloud, where you get the power and agility of public cloud with all the control and security of your data center. We're also pleased to announce the GA of VMware Cloud on AWS Outposts. This is another local cloud solution that, when combined with VMware Cloud on AWS, gives you an end-to-end -end hybrid cloud as a service. But what about your existing vSphere-based environments? Many of you still have large on-prem deployments that continue to deliver value. What if you could gain the benefits of public cloud there as well? 
while still having the option of using VMware Cloud for the complete hybrid experience. While you're going to love this next announcement, Project Arctic is a simpler path to the cloud. Here's how it works. We'll offer a non-disruptive as a service option for your on-prem environments. You will benefit from hands-off maintenance and pay as you grow consumption. You'll get capabilities to extend directly from vSphere into any of the supported VMware clouds. Imagine never exhausting capacity and only paying for what you need. You'll be able to replicate VMs and containers directly to supported public clouds with an integrated DR service, giving you workload protection, elasticity, and low-cost storage options in the public cloud of your choice. And you can add integrated ransomware protection as well. You see, vSphere innovation has not slowed down, and I hope you didn't miss the announcement of our AI-ready enterprise platform. Now you can run your analytics and machine learning workloads right alongside your other enterprise apps and data. That's right. Thanks to our NVIDIA partnership, vSphere now supports GPU virtualization too. And what about Edge? Edge has emerged as a new area of innovation as organizations strive to build intelligent, immersive experiences for their users, where digital meets physical. Organizations are developing a new type of workload, an edge native workload with low latency requirements to process real-time data, which must live close to the endpoints producing and consuming that data. These workloads can be placed at the far edge, which is closest to the remote endpoints themselves, or at the near edge, which is a service between the cloud and the endpoints. VMware already has solutions at both these locations, uniquely positioning us to deliver a consistent multi-cloud edge platform. Today, we're launching VMware Edge Compute Stack, purpose-built for small-scale VMs and container compute, integrated with Edge HCI and SD-WAN, so you can deploy Edge-native apps at the far edge. I've covered a lot of announcements. I hope you see how committed we are to meeting you where you are and taking you where you need to go. VMware Cloud is already a faster path to the cloud. And with all this innovation, there's no better place to run all your applications, securely, reliably, and cost-effectively. While lots of companies promise you the benefits of cloud, we're the only one to provide the freedom and flexibility to run across clouds, minimizing lock-ins and trade-offs. The value delivered by VMware is more than a platform and even more than technology. We give you the power to control your own destiny and the flexibility to adopt cloud at the pace of your business. Yes, you can operate with speed, freedom, and control across any cloud. Imagine that. Thank you for spending time with me today. Now my colleague, Sean Bass, will share more exciting innovations. Thank you, Mandy. We heard from Summit about the new reality we're living in. It's an increasingly distributed world of people, information, and applications, all accelerated by the pandemic. And there's no going back. For the most part, employees everywhere felt empowered and productive, but they also felt frustrated when they couldn't access all their work apps, or when it was difficult to connect to the VPN, or when the stringent security policies for remote access required multiple passwords. This last point illustrates one of the key trade-offs, access versus security, productivity versus protection. In talking with our own customers, I know you're concerned about increasing threats, but also concerned that complexity of security policies is degrading the employee experience. We hear you. You shouldn't have to choose between having engaged and empower employees or keeping your applications and data secure. Both of these are essential. VMware has been a longtime leader in distributed work since introducing VDI and unified endpoint management. Both have been key to keeping organizations productive throughout the pandemic. Now, as we shift to a truly hybrid workforce, the network edge is shifting too. It's no longer the corporate perimeter, it's now the endpoints and the home networks that generate and consume data. As the number of control points increases across apps, users, device, networks, security policies become fragmented. So your colleagues get that disjointed experience 
when they go to access their apps from different devices and networks. These are the challenges that VMware Anywhere Workspace was designed for. It pulls together a set of best-in-breed technologies, including Workspace ONE, endpoint protection from Carbon Black Cloud, and secure edge-to-endpoint access from our SASE platform. Earlier this year, we delivered VMware Secure Access, our ZTNA solution. This is the first service of our SASE platform and enables zero trust remote access for the distributed workforce. It shrinks the attack surface and leverages optimal traffic routing. The result is improved security and network performance without the added cost or management overhead of your traditional VPNs. Now, as enterprises continue to embrace the cloud and adopt modern SaaS and web apps, data is everywhere. We must protect data and prevent loss of sensitive information, especially when accessing it from remote locations with few controls. So today, we have some exciting new announcements. For starters, we're enhancing our SASE platform with two new services. Cloud Access Security Broker that helps IT gain more visibility and exercise control into sanctioned and unsanctioned applications based on the user's role within the organization. To go beyond visibility and control, we're also announcing data loss prevention that helps protect against data leaks and helps enterprises comply with data privacy laws. Both of these services are hosted in our SASE points of presence and work seamlessly with our Secure Access ZTNA solution to extend security from your devices to your applications. Next, we've built new capabilities into the Workspace ONE platform. First, there's a new device health engine that puts endpoint hygiene on autopilot. With Endpoint Health, our Workspace ONE intelligence engine proactively ensures that endpoints are performing at their peak security hygiene. Through integration with our identity and ZTNA solutions, Device Health blocks access to resources for devices that don't meet security posture requirements. And second, we're releasing a new AI-driven capability that identifies user experience and security anomalies, finds the root cause, and recommends resolutions. It does all of this automatically for a proactive and secure user experience. Remember, Workspace ONE and SASE platforms are integrated. So in combination, you get enhanced security and great performance together. Plus, there's no additional management overhead or costs, unlike most of the point solutions on the market. And to me, that's the most exciting part integrated solutions. All of the capabilities I just mentioned can now be purchased through one comprehensive Anywhere Workspace Enterprise Package. Of course, you can still go a la carte if that's what works best for you. Now, let's take a step back and think more broadly about security. The new capabilities we announced today are designed to help you move toward a zero trust posture. This is critical to help you respond to the current reality. As your workforce and apps become more distributed, attacks are increasing, getting more sophisticated, and the security tools landscape is getting more complex. You have too many surfaces to defend, too many silos, and too little context. Our unique approach embeds security into all of your control points. Users, devices, clouds, workloads, and networks they can all access your mission-critical apps and data. VMware delivers simpler, faster, and smarter security. Security gets simpler when it's built in and delivered as a distributed service. You drastically reduce network changes, blind spots, and the cost and complexity of administering thousands of agents and tools. Think of this as VMware putting security into every solution we offer, so it's easy to just turn on. Security gets faster when you connect your control points to protect your apps and data. This results in an end-to-end -end security posture, which makes detection better and faster. 
It also improves coordination between your IT and your security teams because everyone's operating off of a common source of truth to protect and defend your infrastructure. Security gets smarter when you can confidently scale your responses. VMware security solutions automatically curate and correlate data from everywhere, including threat intelligence feeds. With risk prioritization for vulnerabilities, you allow your most critical assets, your people, to do their most important work. VMware is one of a few companies today that has an intimate understanding of the five control points and the teams that manage them because we power your key digital investments. That's why at VMware, we like to say that security is a team sport. With VMware as your trusted partner, we can help you accelerate your path to zero trust. Most importantly, you never have to choose between delivering great employee experiences and securing your apps and workloads. Imagine that. Thank you, and now back to our CEO, Raghu Raghuram. Thanks, Sean. Everything we just shared, everything we do at VMware, is designed to help you unlock the full value of multi-cloud to accelerate your business. We have heard you loud and clear. First and foremost, you want to be cloud smart. You want to innovate using the best services on different clouds. You want to avoid lock-in. You want to give your developers autonomy to build apps using the cloud of their choice while allowing DevSecOps to deploy these apps with consistency. You want to empower your distributed workforce. And you want enterprise-grade security to protect your mission-critical applications and data. With VMware cross-cloud services, we are committed to giving you the power of AND. We believe every organization should have the freedom and control in their multi-cloud business. Maybe most important, you should always have the power to shape your own destiny in a multi-cloud world. Thank you for being part of the VMware community. We have a lot of great sessions lined up for you, including hundreds of customers and partners sharing best practices. This is your chance to go deeper into all of the innovations we have just talked about and many more. I hope to see you all in person next year. Have a great conference.